market for Justin Fowler, or is he the kind of player that can play anywhere? Oh, I think there's uh, no question. You know, Justin Fowler can do so many things well. Uh, he's a really good receiver. Uh, he's a great blocker. Uh, he has running skills with the ball in his hand, so he actually could be a big back for somebody. Uh, there's some still some situations where, you know, guys like Justin Fowler have tremendous value, and he's really a good matchup player on special teams. And I think one of the things that people don't understand when you're building a roster in the NFL, you have to take that into consideration because you only have 46 guys active for the game. And, um, you know, if you're not a star player, you've got to be a good special teams player. So uh, there's a lot of things Justin Fowler brings value to any team that he goes to. What sets Amari Cooper off? We've all seen the production and, and work ethic and everything. What sets him apart to you? Well, you know, first of all, I think, you know, he's a very talented guy, uh, and he's worked very hard here to improve and maximize, you know, the God-given gifts that he has. Uh, he's got great quickness, great speed. He's got really good size, very good hands, and got some running ability after the catch. And I think if you're looking at critical factors at his position, you know, that co covers about everything that's important to most people. And um, the other thing is he's a great person. Uh, he's going to be a really good teammate wherever he goes. He's very positive in the way he goes about his work. And you give him a job to do, he's going to do it. So he's very, very responsible and accountable. And uh, I think that's what people are looking for. What kind of feedback have you gotten about Blake and, and, and what kind of steps do you think he needs to make to, to make it? Well, you know, I don't spend a lot of time this time of year talking to NFL people. We're recruiting, you know, we're getting ready for next year's recruiting. We're getting ready for spring practice, off-season program. Uh, but I, I think that, you know, Blake, athleticism, his production this year, um, you know, are, are things that people are going to have to take into account. Uh, there are more and more offenses that are willing to use, utilize a guy like him. Um, so I do think Blake has a lot to offer a team, and I do think he's going to get an opportunity with someone. What do you think Landon would, would bring to an NFL team and an NFL that gets defensive backs in those positions? Well, you know, Landon's a very, very explosive, physical, uh, big hitter. Uh, he's got really good ball skills. Uh, can play man-to-man -man. he's very instinctive so uh, there's not very many guys that uh, have his size and speed and athleticism uh, that play in the secondary and you know those things can be intimidating to to a lot of receivers and um, I think Landon's going to be a fantastic NFL player. What do you think of DeAndre as a prospect? What do you feel like he brings to the table and what kind of upside? Uh, I think DeAndre is? White is probably the guy that I would if you said who would be most underappreciated, you know, by the NFL uh, because he has a lot more ability than what his production maybe has been here, whether it's because of injuries or uh, whatever that he's, he's battled through. Uh, and, you know, he's got great speed. He's got great size. He's a great special teams player. He's been a great special teams player for us. And if you're not a one or two receiver on a team, uh, you're going to have to play special teams. And uh, I, I think he's going to be a real value for somebody who's going to get a guy who has great ability uh, that probably uh, could really develop into something special. You know, TJ was a very productive guy here for you guys. Do you think he can be a future back in the NFL? I don't think there's any question about it. He's got great size. He's very instinctive, uh, hard worker, good person, um, can catch really well, big enough to block and protect. So. Um, I think I think he's he'll, he'll do just fine. Can you describe the Andrews as undervalued? Some who, who else? I guess out of this class, do you feel like is undervalued? Or maybe well, when I say undervalued, I I, I, I don't mean it that underappreciated is the word that I use in terms of you know maybe uh, the production that he's had here relative to what he could have if he would have been healthy all the time and. Um, you know, I just think the guy's got a real high ceiling. Ten and one more. I was going to ask how much you're looking forward to for Friday. Excuse me? How much you looking forward to Friday? Oh, I'm looking forward to Friday. I'm, you know, we've had a really good off season with this group, and uh, I don't like it that we're going to have one practice and then have spring break. But uh, when Easter falls in there, we have to give players a little bit of time and respect the holiday. So. Um, I'm really excited about this team. They seem to have a great attitude. They work really hard and uh, got really, you know, pretty good leadership group. And 
Um, I'm excited about it. I know we got a lot of holes to fill, especially on offense, but we also have a lot of veteran players who have played a lot of football who are um, going to get the opportunity to, uh, you know, maybe take advantage of having a greater role on the team. Coach, how does Amari uh, compare to Julio? Uh, when he was coming out on different body styles. Well, I, I, I don't really like to compare players. You know, they're totally different guys. Um, you know, Julio Jones is um, a fantastic, big, strong, physical guy who's been very productive in the NFL. And, you know, Amari Cooper's style was just a little different in terms of uh, the quickness that he plays with, the running ability that he has. Uh, um, Great hands, smart player. Um, both guys are outstanding, but their style is just a little bit different. All right, thanks, Thank you, Coach.